So spiritual process means just that's all. We are on fast forward, not that we have anything against mangoes or coconuts, we are just on fast forward so we can't be plucking this and that. So here, the moon is on fast forward today. All the twenty-eight days, all the twenty-eight phases of the moon, you see right here. Everything that happens in a month, in a subtle way is happening right here. When such a fast forward is happening, many things are changing. One thing that you will notice is that the food, when I say food, don't hang your tongue out, no. When I say food, I mean your body. We're inviting some tigers today. They look at you and think, food. <laughs> food means your body. Food is your body in making, isn't it? Food is your body. So when I say food, the food, particularly the, un the cooked food, will go through the phases of its deterioration much, much more rapidly in a subtle way than it does on a normal day. We thought we'll do a little experiment. Do we have food? We're going to bring some food, don't hang your tongues out. This is not for eating. This is just to show you how quickly it's going bad right here as we sit. So everything is going through a certain phase. If you are not already aware of this, This is not just happening to the food, this is happening to your body, this is happening to the whole world in a certain way. We'll… Uh, we'll keep watching this as it goes by. <laughs> so right now it's still okay. You watch this in the next one and a half hours. You will see things will change about this food as we sit here, okay? We will leave it now, it will mature <laughs> So the reason why so many things are taken care of on a full lunar eclipse day is because you're passing twenty-eight days in two hours' time, approximately two hours' time. So today is a special day because of the alignment that happens. Certain things happen in the planet where anything which we… anything that moves away from its natural condition, will naturally deteriorate very, very fast on this day. We have not really conducted an experiment like this, but uh, I can say it with fair amount of confidence that suppose we measure how quickly a dead body deteriorates, on this day it will be much faster than other days. Somebody should experiment on this. If anybody is working in a pathology laboratory, you should try this out and see. But I can show this to you with reference to food, cooked food, because this is like a dead body. In the sense, it is moved away from its natural condition. How it was when it was in its natural condition, how it is now, it is moved away. We can still eat it, it still nourishes us, us even though it's dead, it still nourishes us, us but See how quiet it has become now? Not very enthusiastic. The first time we held it, it was clearly going this way. Right now it is simply 
it's… It is still not totally tamas, it is moving there, it's almost there. You will see in another fifteen, twenty minutes, if you check it, it will be going anti-clockwise. By the time you see the… a tiny piece of moon, you will see actively it will be going this way. So if this was in your stomach right now, seven o'clock, if you had your dinner and you were sitting here, this would be happening within you. So I thought it's better it happens outside than within you <laughs> because food will rot in the stomach. If we go by the physical sciences, if we examine you by the limitations of physical sciences, on one level, you are just heart, liver, kidney, lungs and whatever. We know today they are all replaceable. Are you replaceable? <laughs> Let's see what's happening to the sambar. It's important, isn't it? You see this? Are you able to see this? actively going negative. See, we told you not to eat. Those people in Delhi who are eating today, <laughs> what to do with them? <laughs> this is going through a whole phase. What would happen in twenty-eight days in a subtle way, in an energy… on the level of energy, it is happening in these two hours' time. How many minutes totally? Hundred? Around thirty minutes, what is it, the eclipse? Huh? Fifty minutes. So fifty… fifty are full, totally about two hours, right? Almost close to three hours of time. In these three hours, what happens in twenty-eight days is happening right here. It is happening to your body right now as you sit here. You should be able to notice it, but you are not able to notice it, so the sambar is telling you what your brain is not able to tell you. In three hours' time, or less than… this is only… we are watching it only for less than forty minutes. In an hour's time, what is nourishing food is turning into poison. That's what is happening right here. If you eat this, what will happen? Will I die? Unfortunately, you don't. Why I'm saying unfortunately is, if… if you eat this, if you immediately fall dead, they would have passed a law. On an eclipse day, nobody should eat the cooked food. But because it's subtle, 